this is the presentation of the core of the ST offer in terms of AI. But first, we need to start from STM32 CubeMX. So, what is CubeMX? CubeMX, it is a MCU configurator and generator of the application code of the application template. This tool lets you in very easy graphical way configure your M MCU, configure your project and generate C code, which can be so-called template or framework of the, of the application. We have four main uh, components or ingredients of the CubeMX tool. Pin configurator, so you can easily configure uh, all the GPIOs of the MCU. It this example is very simple. This is LQFP64, but we have much more, uh, much rich of pins uh, MCUs. Clock tree configurator. I think this is the one of the biggest advantage of the of the of the Cube MX. You will see how complex the, the 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 clock tree of our controller, our L475 controller, is, and what uh, and it it was really nightmare before the 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 Cube MX re release to, to the, the configuration of the of the clock tree from. Two hours to two months, depends of th on the on the. And now it is really pleasure. Then we can configure we, we can configure not only all the, the GPIOs, but we can configure all the peripherals, like USART, uh, ADC, DAC timers, etc., as well in graphical way. And then we can simulate the current consumption, the power consumption, based on the co uh, already configured peripherals set and the particular clock frequency and the clock source. So that's all the, uh, the basic functionalities uh, of the CubeMX. What is behind? Behind is a software library. Uh, and of course, hardware. So we have we have uh, on the uh, we need we need to start from the hardware from the microcontrollers. Then we have uh, drivers, and it can be a hardware abstraction layer. So the the, the high level library which covers all the all the peripherals, uh, and the biggest advantage of this hardware abstraction layer. I think there are two. Uh, the portability, you can very easily migrate between families, you and this is automatic process. Using You can use CubeMX to migrate, for example, from uh, mm, STM32L4 to STM32F4 or F7, whatever. Uh, of course, the, the simplicity of the coding, because we have hardware abstraction, so so th there is a lot of functions to which covers uh, all the peripherals and covers all the approaches like pooling like interrupt mode like dma mode mm. then we have board support packages because we have different boards like nucleo boards the most simple one like discovery board uh, like evaluation board this is very useful hull level Hull level examples. Personally, because uh, my previous company, I uh, I have no uh, use uh, ST. Uh, I have never used uh, the documentation of Hull library, the paper, the PDF documentation. It is very well documented inside the source code, inside the .c file. The, the the header of each module it is uh, just a quite nice documentation how to start how to uh, what what you sh sh uh, I should to do to start properly particular peripheral for example and we have really huge set 
uh, of the of the examples uh, i call those examples atomic examples peripheral wise so for example i would like to know how to implement dma transfer from the adc on this and that microcontroller and just opening the repository of of hal of cubemix and then i'm looking for atomic example uh, for the dma transfer from the adc that's all without digging inside the user manual, which is sometimes really huge, 2,000 uh, pages uh, or almost 2,000 without digging inside the data sheet and application node. Just, I definitely recommend you to take an atomic example of the peripheral implementation. Then we have higher level examples and mm, uh, uh, based on the middleware. So there is an implementation of TCP IP basing on LWIP protocol stack, USB, host and device, uh, graphics. Uh, here is an old uh, slide because we have uh, uh, Stemwin and we have also, we just uh, uh, acquire TouchGFX from, from Denmark. This is part of ST now. Uh, like Atolic from Sweden. Uh, file system FATFS, so we are using uh, FATFS fi file system now. FreeRTOS, we are using FreeRTOS now. Mm, I mean our audio stream classification application. And then we have middle uh, middleware level applications. So examples how to use those middle layer, middle, uh, middleware layer. For example, implementation of the virtual COM port on particular microcontroller. And then on the top we have uh, <coughs> evaluation boards, as I mentioned, starting from Nucleo uh, through Discovery and uh, up to evaluation, uh, fu full evaluation boards, the most expensive one with all the, all the features and external <coughs> components. Then we have some utilities like fonts, like uh, CMCs. CMCC is very important, of course. Okay, today uh, this is uh, we do not have focus on 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 Cubemix or Hal Hal libra library, uh, but again, mm, you can use manual. But in practice, there is no need to use manual for the Hal library because it is well documented inside the uh, uh, C code. And we have very good online training on YouTube. You can try. And this is the most popular training inside, inside our organization. I mean the microcontrollers part of ST. Mm, and quite good. Uh, 